Sometime in March, the average skier begins to feel what medical professionals refer to as acute powder withdrawals. Powder, also known on the streets as cold smoke, blower, or fractal dust, can give users a feeling of euphoria, giddiness, and lead to involuntary high-fiving, a disregard for the cold, and numb lips and face. But as the weather warms and the available supply of cold smoke diminishes, the powder fiend can become more irritable and short-tempered. To help wean those who are addicted to blower, doctors will often prescribe corn, an effective transitional stimulant that helps powder addicts ease their way into summer activities. Please take a moment and identify all the squares with spring corn in them. If you didn't get them all, don't worry. The following video will help you identify corn and teach you how to make the most of spring skiing. Ski.com defines corn as snow characterized by its large corn kernel sized granules found during the spring. But corn cannot be fully understood with words alone. A person must feel the corn beneath their feet as they slash and slide. And only after harvesting a ripe sunlit hillside on a late April morning will an individual fully understand and appreciate corn. Harvesting spring snow is like harvesting any crop. Knowledge, proper tools, patience, and safety are key to a successful gleaning. Let's take a moment to identify the requirements necessary for a successful spring skiing excursion. The refreeze. In an ideal world, the snow would retain its fluffy powder-like texture throughout the season. However, as the temperature rises and the sun moves north, the snow goes through a series of melt and freeze cycles. And if this cycle continues, you end up with a thick consolidated layer of snow, the foundation necessary for corn. Now it's time to bake a mountain. Take one frozen hillside, some solar radiation, a pinch of luck, stir with ski pole until desired consistency is reached, and voila, you're ready to shred. A properly baked hillside will have an inch or two of thawed snow with an increasingly hard layer underneath. Undercook the hillside by not allowing enough time in the sun or by having a slope exposed to wind or clouds, and you'll be skiing frozen chunder. Overcook the hillside with too much time in the sun or by not allowing for a deep refreeze, and you are opening yourself to a potentially dangerous, hellish nightmare. In some ways, cooking a snow-covered hillside is like cooking a frozen burrito at a gas station. Some parts will still be frozen, and other parts will be insanely hot. Sharp and pointy things. When venturing out into the mountains to harvest corn, you'll need to arm yourself with the tools of the trade. Hardened edges and pointed shafts are imperative, so that you can stab, kick, chop, and plunge your way to the top of the mountain. Ski crampons, whippets, ice axes, boot crampons, and sharpened ski edges will be your most trusted friend as you race the sun to the top of the mountain. Not only do these pointy things expedite your climb to the top, they also allow you to maintain your tenuous grip on the frozen face of the mountain as you ascend. Procure these mountain weapons and carry them with you at all times while in search of ripe corn. Getting there. Unfortunately for you, in the spring, the snow has receded. Gates to the backcountry remain securely locked and only the bravest would dare to jump or ram them with their Subaru or Tacoma. Some will use the traditional, reliable mode of transportation, the legs, to carry them to the snow line. But other means of conveyance are accessible to those who are willing to pay. Road, gravel, and mountain bikes are excellent ways to reach the fields of white. E-bikes are even better should you be lucky enough to own one, or know someone who owns two. Wow. And for the unassuming, self-effacing adventurer, having their hardtail steely towed with an e-bike can be an effective way to reach the trailhead. Safety first. While on the hunt for your next fix of corn, remember that avalanches aren't just the bane of midwinter skiers. Spring avalanches are possible. As Mr. Avalanche always says, if you can ski it, it can slide. It's also important to remember that all those sharp and pointy things 
don't just stick into snow. And last of all, a frozen hillside in springtime is basically a long deadly slip and slide, and one that can take you into rocks, over cliffs, and through your best friends. Don't allow yourselves to be sidelined by an injury while your best friends gather corn in the hills. Backcountry skiing in spring is like so super rad. Some will even say that corn is better than powder. And while those people are totally wrong, a corny hillside on a beautiful spring day will put a smile on your face and a tingle in your toes.